Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics are both critical tools that will help you track uh, what's happening on your website and how it's performing. I'm going to break down the differences and similarities between both tools. So for Google Tag Manager, the way I like to think about this is Google Tag Manager is not storing any data and providing any reporting like Google Analytics will, but you can use Google Tag Manager to set up tracking like events for GA4 or adding tracking tags for other platforms. Really as a tag management solution, the goal of Tag Manager is to organize all your tracking tags in one place. And it makes things much more efficient from a process standpoint as well. Since with Google Tag Manager, all you need to do is install this tracking script on your website. And then all of the tags you add inside of Google Tag Manager will, uh, will fire and will be organized here. The old way of doing it before using a tag management solution would be to install all these tags manually in the code of your website. So things like your Facebook tag, these event tracking tags, um, HubSpot, uh, LinkedIn, all these different tags that I'm using to uh, provide more analytics. I'm able to get all of that in one place and keep it organized. Now, as things change and I want to add new tracking tags or I want to remove some, a tool that I'm not using anymore, it can all be done right from this interface, which is much, much more user friendly for a marketer as well. I don't need to go to a developer to have them make adjustments and update these tags. Uh, I can do it all right inside this platform. So that's the big advantage of using Google Tag Manager. You only have to touch your website code once and then you could do all of your tracking and tag implementation inside of this platform. Now you can also use it to set up events that you send into GA4. So you'll see here what I have is a contact form and then another one tracking all forms. So anytime my contact form is submitted, that data will get sent into GA4 and I set up the tracking right inside of Tag Manager here. Now we're not gonna do a full event tracking or conversion tracking breakdown in this video on how to actually set up these events, but the main concept is you're able to do so right inside of here and keep everything organized. Uh, the other thing I've seen quite a bit is as teams change, you work with new agencies or new vendors or consultants, um, having this record and everything in one place just makes it a lot easier of a transition for new team members that you're gonna onboard. So now the difference with GA4 and Google Analytics from Google Tag Manager is primarily that Google Analytics is going to be where you're going to get your data. So Tag Manager can send some data into GA4, but ultimately GA4 and Google Analytics in general is going to be the platform you use to actually analyze what's happening on your website. So there's going to be uh, reporting in here, all your events and all your data is going to be stored inside of GA4. And this is where you're going to go to do your analytics and to analyze what's happening on your website. Now, You'll see here, one of the uh, newer features in GA4 is in this event section, is you can actually create events right here. So you don't necessarily have to use Google Tag Manager to create every event. You'll see I have a few sample events here that I created right inside of GA4 for when somebody clicks a link to go to my calendar tool. I have a uh, type form, which is a Google Analytics 4 assessment quiz. So I'm able to track that right here. And then I also have another calendar tool that I'm tracking. And then this is an example of tracking a thank you page after a form is submitted, just using the event name of page view and then the page location with the URL. So my preference is still to use Google Tag Manager to set up events just because if we're used to it from a process standpoint, but also for organization, anytime we need to change an event or know where it is, we don't have to go back and forth between tools. We know to log right into Google Tag Manager and set it up there. Uh, Tag Manager also has a really valuable preview mode, which allows you to test if these events are working. In Google Analytics 4, there's other ways to do that, but we find the preview mode works really well for Tag Manager, which is another reason we tend to do all event tracking for clients inside of Tag Manager, and then also adding all the social tags and the other pixels that we need. So that's really it. Um, these two tools work really well hand in hand. Um, typically anytime we do an analytics setup, we're also going to be setting up Google Tag Manager, again, to do that event tracking and manage all the pixels for the website. And then inside of GA4 is where we're going to do reporting and dig into the website data and start analyzing performance for the sites.